J.T. Forbes. Yeah. I'm sorry about the whole trank thing. What trank thing? What? I didn't kill her. It's a trank gun. Ranked her? Can we skip this part? Happily. Tess, I'm trying to steal your best friend. I'm just looking after mine. Want more pizza? <sighs> Why are you still single? Because I'm a cop. I'm intimidating. I'm not feminine enough. These are direct quotes from my grandmother. Believe me, when I met you, I knew you were a girl. Right, so love is bogus, flowers are hideous, and let me guess, you hated the chocolates too. It's obvious, shown and for me. Every piece of you, it just fits perfectly. Every second, every time. Did you not get my text? Yes, I got your text. All 11 of them. Well, were you ever planning on responding? Uh, okay, you really want to know? Yeah. You're the last person on the planet I ever pictured myself being with. You are not my type at all. This does not make sense. It shouldn't work. But then when we're apart, all I do is think about being with you and it's driving me freaking nuts. Don't give me a gummy. JT changed. She really started caring more about what I needed from him. But I still wasn't sure until I realized I just, I didn't want to leave his side, no matter what. You would be great. I'm on my side. Now who's selling themselves short? No offense, but sleeping with your old boss doesn't make you qualified to be one. You do not have to go through this alone. Do you understand me? I owe your sister an apology, birthday boy. No, I don't care how busy I am. I don't care what I'm doing. This matters to me. Please, please don't hurt her. She has nothing to do with this. Evie! If JT's dead, you're dead. A superhuman killer is after me, not you. There is no way that I'm leaving you here alone, so just get over it. I just don't want to be weaker than you, okay? You started liking me when you thought I was... Superhuman? I never cared about that, never. But you're not Vincent. Thank you. Use that professor brain of yours, okay? I love you. I never cared about whether you could hit a bullseye or see without your glasses or leap tall buildings, never. When you stood up to my brothers, that was you. Not some crazy ass serum, you. Don't push me away when you're hurting, okay? Okay. It's not like this is the first time we've got through this. Why can't I kiss you on the dance floor? I wish that we could be like that. Why can't we? I've spent half my life being the cliche nerdy professor. I hate to burst your bubble, JT, but we are more than that. A lot more. Give me one. Thanks, Didi. Big laugh. If you ever do something stupid like that again, I'll run you over. Got it? Yeah.